This man was polishing a mannequin, but he just touched her necklace. Mannequin actually rolled her eyes and laughed comfortably. Then she turned back to Beanwood, but the man didn't notice anything unusual. Jason put mannequin back in the exhibition. He thought the wooden mannequin was so beautiful, he saw no one around and kissed the her. Then he took the gemstone necklace off the beauty's neck. However, this mannequin came to life and sneezed. Jason was so scared that he backed up. My friends, stay, stay back. This is a very beautiful woman. But Jason felt as if he had seen a ghost. He thought he saw a hallucination until the beauty touched his face. She tenderly said that she was Jesse who loved him. Only then did he realize that it was all real. More than his shock, Jesse also found everything unbelievable. She couldn't understand why she woke up and her beloved prince didn't remember her. Don't you remember the soldiers and the sorcerer? Jason incredulously exclaims that the rumors are true. Jason was in T.A. Prince a thousand years ago, but he fell in love with Jesse a peasant girl because there was a big difference in their status. So he decided to elope with Jesse. Unfortunately, they were stopped by soldiers on the way. The queen dislikes Jesse as a country girl and is firmly against their relationship. But she still pretended to give Jesse a gift. Then she asked the wizard to give Jesse a gemstone necklace. But as soon as Jason helped Jesse to put on the necklace, Jesse was turned into a wooden mannequin. The sorcerer and the queen laughed heartily at the success of their plot. Jason hurriedly begged the queen to tell him how to break the spell. The queen said that if she wanted to break the spell, she had to wait 1,000 years or until she met a man who truly loved her. Jason anxiously tried to take off the necklace, but the spell forced him to withdraw his hand. He angrily cursed the country to reign for a thousand years. Just as it finished speaking, lightning flashed in the sky and then it started to pour. Soon a thousand years had passed. Jesse, who had turned into wood, became a statue in the exhibition hall. After visiting the exhibition hall, people left. Only one man stayed, and he was the sorcerer. The one thousand year deadline was approaching, and he had already fallen in love with Jessie and wanted to keep her for himself. So he hired three helpers and planned to transport her away when the last exhibition was over. But fate has a way of playing tricks on people. Jason's reincarnation also appeared. This time he was a small-time employee at the mall. Jason's boss was about to hold an exhibition in the mall. And the main character of the exhibition is Jessie, a wooden mannequin. But then they suddenly got the news that the truck transporting Jesse had an accident. So the boss rushed to the scene with Jason, but they happened to see the wooden mannequin fall into the water. The beautiful girl fell into the water accidentally. Jason jumped into the river to save her. But after he got to shore, he realized that the beauty was a wooden sculpture, but the sculpture's beautiful appearance made Jason marvel. Jason sworn she was real. <laughs> Jason returned to the exhibition hall to look at the beautiful sculpture and could not help but sneak a kiss to her. Then he took the gemstone necklace off of Jesse's neck. Then the sculpture came to life. Jason was also surprised by this. He learned it from Jesse that the legend of a thousand years was true. Jesse was very confused about the current world. So Jason kindly showed Jesse a fire extinguisher. This directly scared Jesse fainted. After waiting for a thousand years to wake up, Jesse's first words were to confess her love to Jason, even though Jason tried to explain that he was not her prince. But Jesse still said she loved him. Jason also seems to be attracted to the beautiful Jesse. At night Jason took Jesse for a drive. Jesse is very curious about the modern city scenery. She was so excited that she danced around. When she gets hungry, Jason takes her to buy a burrito again. But she eats the burrito with the wrapper on and says it's not chewy. Jason laughed and explained to her that it was a wrapper. He took Jesse to the camera on the side of the road again. Jesse thought she was locked into the machine. Ah, get out of the bush. It's okay. Jesse quickly adjusted modern life with Jason's help. They went to a fancy dance club. Only special people are allowed in here. Jason had never been allowed in before. However, this time he brought Jesse here and was immediately invited in because the security guards at the entrance of the ballroom were all amazed by Jesse's beauty. Jesse was curiously watching the beautiful woman next to her applying lipstick in the bathroom of the ballroom. Perhaps lipstick has a natural attraction to women. So the beauty kindly handed her the lipstick. When she saw that Jesse didn't know how to use lipstick, she patiently taught her how to use it with lipstick on. Jesse looks even more beautiful. She danced like Jason, but she didn't think it was a good dance. So she thoughtfully taught Jason how to dance. The people around her also learned it from her graceful posture. They had a wonderful evening. After the dance, Jason knew she had nowhere else to go, so he took Jesse home. Jesse marveled at how the place was like a palace. She even bounced on the bed with curiosity. After all the days they spent together, Jason realized that he was really in love with Jesse. The next day, Jason, who was always lazy, 
Woke up early for the first time to make breakfast. Jessie took a bubble bath in the bathtub. After her bath, she saw the gemstone necklace on the table, so she picked it up and put it around her neck. When Jason came upstairs happily with his breakfast, he found that Jessie was back to being a wooden statue. He thought Jessie was joking with him. However, he knocked on Jessie and found that she was really wood now. This caused him to doubt himself. At I'm talking to a dummy. I was dancing with a dummy. That moment Jason's mother walked in. She was surprised and couldn't believe that her son liked a piece of wood. Jason took Jessie. Ho had turned back into wood. To the coffee shop, he looked at Jesse with affection, but the people around him looked at him with strange eyes. He had no choice but to take Jesse back to the office. He also happened to meet the wizard, who came to check the sculpture. The wizard is relieved to see that Jesse is still a wooden sculpture. This man fell in love with a wooden sculpture. His mother thought he was crazy, and even his best friend told him to stop dreaming. But only he knows that the sculpture is a living person, because they even danced together last night. After Jason left, the boss took a look at the sculpture's necklace. He took off the gemstone necklace and put it around his neck. Then he turned into a statue and Jesse came back to life. So Jesse grabbed her coat and ran out. At that moment, three of the wizard's men came and found the necklace around the stranger's neck. They quickly pulled the necklace off to make him human again. The three men found that Jesse was missing. So they reported the news to the wizard in a hurry. The wizard almost died of anger. Je Find her now! Jesse was shopping at the supermarket. He also used Jason's employee card to buy furniture. Not only that, she went into the barber store and got a stylish haircut and changed into a lot of fashionable clothes. At that moment, Jason returned to the company's warehouse and saw his friend sitting on the floor. His friend didn't know what was going on. He had to tell him that the legend of the 1000 years was true. Jason looked around the mall for Jesse and the wizard recognizes him as the prince from a thousand years ago. So the wizard wanted to kill Jason and ordered his men to go after him right away. They started a chase in the mall. Jesse saw this scene. Jesse grabbed a go-kart from the mall in a hurry. She drove Jason to the go-kart and fled quickly. They drove the go-kart straight through the mall and knocked the wizard out of the way. Jason accidentally falls to the ground, and Jessie drove the cart out the window, but she didn't know which one was the break, so Jason had to chase after her. Fortunately, by the time Jason ran home, Jessie was already sitting on the bed, waiting for him, but before they had a chance to pack up and flee, the wizard led the police straight to them. The wizard walks upstairs while the police have Jason under control. He used the necklace to turn Jessie back into a wooden sculpture. Jason was still downstairs arguing to the police, but the wizard walked down the stairs with Jessie in his arms. Jason watched the sorcerer fix Jessie's necklace, before he realized that the magic of the curse all came from the necklace. But it was too late! He was put in the police station. When Jason's friend saw Jesse, who had turned back to wood, being sent away, he dressed up as an officer's and lied that Jason was one of his escaped men. Jason was thus successfully rescued from the cell. The last exhibition about Jesse began. The sorcerer is happy to plan that he will take Jesse away once the show is over. But then something else happens. Jason came down from the sky with a rope to take Jesse away. The audience thought it was a show and applauded. The wizard quickly drew his sword to stop him. That two fought with each other. Whenever Jason was about to lose the fight, his friend hid behind the stage to help secretly use the machine to knock the wizard away. Jason then removes the jewel necklace and brings Jesse back to life. However, the sorcerer took out a gun and threatened Jesse to go with him. By the time Jason caught up with him, the wizard was tying Jesse to a hot air balloon. With the ropes broken, the sorcerer runs out of bullets. Jason saw that they were leaving, so he leapt and grabbed the rope. The men wrestle in the balloon. Jesse found the necklace and put it around the sorcerer's neck in a hurry. The wizard was instantly turned into a statue. The sorcerer was also smashed into the ground by Jason, who got up. Before the wizard's three men had a chance to cry out, a garbage truck came by and took away the pieces of the wizard's body. Eventually, the pieces of the wizard's body were put together and placed in the exhibition hall for people to see. And Jason and Jesse lived happily ever after. This film is a comedy film from the 1990s. It is also a childhood memory for many people. It tells a mythical story of love through the millennium. Its witty and humorous plot also brought us a lot of joy. Although the times are changing and our aesthetics are changing, but we can watch the previous movies in our spare time is also a kind of enjoyment. You can subscribe to Maroon Recap and leave comments if you have any ideas. Thanks for watching. See you next time.